thought you were the upholstery guy. Yeah, I'm always right. You're looking like Santa. This is Santa. We got presents and toys, and you're eating your yeah. cookies, cookies and coffee. Cookies, you're supposed yeah. to eat cookies and milk. Yeah. So this is Jim's Where's car. Milk? <laughs> this is Jim's car. Doesn't this look like Jim's car? We it's, got a, we got kind of a false it's a Woody. start. <laughs> it's a Woody. Yeah. So this is a 23T with a blown with a blown small block. Yeah. Cool gauges. I really like this. So we got kind of a false start on the wiring. Man, I hope the Elmer's glue holds it together. So you you got you you're like a dual purpose guy. Yeah. Honestly, you're one of the only guys that I call a true rod builder. We got maybe I could do it. I could I could run a sewing machine, can a poster like you. But <laughs> anything you don't do? Uh, not that whole. Oh, you see, you make a motor. What what is the small block Chevy uh, firing pattern? One eight four three six five. Okay, eight, eight. so you're probably a motor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Painter, you paint. Yeah, you yeah. paint a little bit. New interiors, mechanicing. Mechanicing, you wire. Yeah. So we're wiring Jim's car. So we, we kind of pre-wire the thing. We've got a wiring kit. What gauges are these? Oh, they're uh, they're cool speed looking. Speed something, yeah, they're, they're cool. I don't know the brand. I don't either, but speed nut, speed hut. Speed, speed hut. hut. <laughs> speed <laughs> nut. Speed <laughs> hut. So this is kind of the shape of the dash. In the 23. Yeah, that would be the firewall. And this would be, be the firewall. The and then in our firewall, if you look, we've got an insert. So this panel here will ha actually have a gap in it about, oh, maybe that much between the firewall and the body. And you can slip a board down yeah. in there. Yeah, and then all these wires. All that goes up underneath that, yeah. down underneath. And then uh, you can screw to it. So that fuse block so it will actually screw through the insert fiberglass into the plywood yeah. between the two yep. and then the same with uh, like the uh, throttle mm -hmm. the pedal uh, we can screw that to it so here's what we're doing we're pre-wiring even though it comes as a wiring kit and it's all wires go this way wires go that way we like to run the left side headlights out the left side and the right side headlights out uh, the right yeah. side and that's what they are this is for your Indicator lights will have little LEDs in, in the dash here for your indicator okay. lights. Yeah, that's all your gauges and everything's trimmed up before you put it in. So yeah, it's same you, standing on your head. Yeah, when hours. you get old, it's kind of hard to stand on <laughs> yeah, your head and do it. We don't heal up like we used to. No, so we we're, we're busy wiring. I'm not. I'm just eating cookies and drinking <laughs> coffee. But I'm, I'm wandering around. So very good. Here it is. Jim's car making progress. The motor and that together, we're going to throw the wires in here probably this week. And then uh, we can put the body on it. Yeah. Here's all the ignition wires. I'm fixing to hook it up. So the, the kit will actually come with the, the plugs on it. So you can plug into a GM. Mm -hmm. You pull them off. There, okay. that, That's oh, what yeah. I, comes on it. So yeah. that's what we take off. And this is the ignition switch that we use. And uh, yeah, we might as well go over some of this because if you get a wiring kit from us. So here's the, uh, the headlight switch. So something that does not come on in the wiring kit oh. would be for your... Uh, Usually these don't, but see there's... Well, the yeah, that's unique one. to this, uh, to, this to these, these gauges. gauges. Yeah. But the lights, the dash lights, are not in the uh, in the wiring loom. So you got to add that to it. I got to add that to the, yeah. And then bring it into the gauge the wires or the lights on the gauges and then one other thing uh the kit comes with a power antenna wire yeah and it comes with really short brake light switch yeah matter of fact you've got that fixed yeah and i've got all that okay out. so so here's that so what we do is we extend that out so it comes down and you can kind of see down. where it's been extended right here yeah and we use a pressure switch underneath the car yeah in the brake line in the yeah. brake line yeah so a lot of the old cars it's got the, the actual mechanical button that pushes down mm -hmm. with the brake pedal we don't do that you got all this is probably all your wires going yeah, to the rear that's for the front headlights and stuff well, that's front left and, and then that's front right over there front right and we'll actually so this is power but we're we'll actually run the alternator wire out, outside the car uh -huh. um, if you're going to get a fire in your wiring harness that's probably where it's going to happen. Yeah. So if you have that go outside, if it smokes. Yeah. Now this all goes to the rear 
and that's the little antenna for the GPS and that's all for the tail lights and the signal lights and gas tank gas tank and third brake light and everything so it makes it way easier yeah this is like uh, this is your idea I spent a lot of years just doing it on the table. Yeah, you did. I bet. Hey, I'll bet. <laughs> you got one for a 27 over there, too. So very good. So that kind of, when Set you're wiring. It in there and it helps make it neat, you know. It, it would be worth it to build this jig if you're going to wire your car, honestly. It, it wouldn't take that long and it looks like scrap wood. Uh huh. And there you go. Drill the holes for your. Uh, for your gauges because the the tighter and cleaner it looks back here so this will this will all be hidden mm -hmm. all of this so when well, you look back here it's going to be clean under the dash pretty clean yeah the way i run them you pick your fuse block and everything sits on top of that so it's, it's uh -huh. tucked way up in there and then again since this this will have the uh, fiberglass insert you can always drill through that a little bit and put a wire tie in there mm -hmm. to come around there and then again it goes down and comes out the bottom of the, the tea bucket. Yeah. Well, I think we've described it pretty good. Yeah. I've done a lot of wiring uh, videos, and mm -hmm. uh, this might be one of the better ones. Oh, well. You know what that makes it good? Look at these cookies. Merry Christmas to <laughs> everyone. All right. I'd want to get busy, but Eddie said I got to check these lights out. He's going to fire it up. He's going to. Got your old drill there? Yeah. Got so the battery from the drill. It's a good way to test things. All right. Oh, you can see it's some power now. Everybody's anticipating. Yeah. How many people do we lose between now and lights? <laughs> If you make it to the end of the video, um, well then like and subscribe. We don't have any prizes for you, no incentive, other than we're just doing it. Yeah, just doing it. We're just doing it. I'm waiting. I don't know if everybody else is. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Come out. Oh, we have two. You can put the outside lights on. That looks pretty good. Oh, look at that. Check that out. That is pretty cool. Here, can you turn it off real quick so you can see the difference? Uh-huh. Man, that does look pretty cool. No, turn the turn the light off over here, but that's all right. Oh, I can. Here, turn that one off. Okay. Yeah, I just pulled one of ours. Not as dramatic as you put another light bulb. Yeah. But it looks pretty good. It'd be good in the dark. Yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> we have part B.